All right, welcome back, YouTube. Um, it is almost 9.30. Um, Tuesday morning. Uh, I forgot the date, but I got the Obama phone handy. And it's, I gotta figure out how to get that not open to a news screen. That's just annoying as shit. Um, it says 9.29 a.m., but it doesn't boldly display the day and date like my iPhone does. Oh, there it is. It's in really small text. Not helpful, guys. Uh, Tuesday, August 17th. 95 degrees. Feels, wait, 79 degrees. The high, high temperature day is going to be 95 degrees. 79 degrees. That's pretty nice for Phoenix in August. Um, yeah, August 17th. So, um... I was saying all day yesterday it was August 17th. I don't know how the hell I got a day off. But, um, but uh, yeah, August 17th. Got high hopes for today. I'm going to try to kind of change my world today. I feel like yesterday I had a, a life-changing opportunity thrown at me. And I need to... Um, Um, I need to make sure it lasts longer than my last one, which went about four days before I had a traffic accident. So, uh, knock on fake plastic, or real plastic, knock on plastic. No, uh, no traffic accidents. And no, um, make an offer, effort not to come off just... come off autistic or mental or whatever. Um, somehow I managed to mask all of that when I was in front of the, uh, the owner and the manager of this new bar I'm starting at. Enough that they, well, they believe in me and threw me a good job offer and then threw me a better job offer and told me about the potential for it to expand into even more job offer. Um, I think one thing that I need to make an effort is to remember names. I'm, I struggle with names and I don't know, I, maybe everybody struggles with names. Maybe that's not just me. Maybe I'm just not making enough effort. So, <coughs> um, make an effort to control this damn cough. Just to, uh, my doctor friend, um, yeah, she hooked me up with some throat lozenges, which certainly helped when I went out with her to uh, meet that booking agent on Sunday, which was not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, yeah, when I went out to, 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 to meet with her, um, hmm, excuse me, I need a little liquid in me. <laughs> I had a cold can, uh, cold can of Coke in the fridge, so no need to, no need to try and track down a, um, a Circle K that has drink cups, because that, that could, that could potentially waste hours. Um, hope you're, hope, hope you other people who got the Circle K sir, sir, uh, sip and save are, are doing better with that. Um, anyway, need to make a conscious of remember the names of these people. Um, let's see. And I took notes on that because, and I'm, I'm glad they were really cool about it when I said, you know, I, I, uh, I didn't bring that. I, I told the, I told the one guy, I forget which guy it was, but I told the one guy yesterday, but you know, this is where I really need to take some notes. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't bring pencil and paper in me, yeah, pen and paper in with me, but, um, I, I've got some out in the car. If you don't mind me going getting it or, you know, if you've got that. And that apparently didn't come off as too unusual of a real of a request because he um, he did when when he found me some paper and a pen and, and I do believe I could have found that in my car, but I'm glad he you know found it for me there inside the inside the bar. Soon to be bar, it's still under construction right now from the inside. They're, they're finishing the inside. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm. Still hacking a flint for us. Um, yeah, I'm glad he, uh, glad he went and found that for me. 
And one of the things I definitely made a point to write down was the names of these people, because I, I need to... Uh, I, I, yeah, because uh, Hey You is going to look tacky. It just it never looks good. Um, and I know just how horribly I struggle with names. Sometimes forgetting the names of people that are you know, really close to me that I've known for years. So I, I need to I need to not have one of those moments while I'm while I'm in there looking like the number one guy that's uh, in charge of uh, audio and video. So let's see, Kevin. Kevin is the owner. Adam is the manager. Which would be easy enough to remember. Kevin. Adam. Adam. Kevin. So I, 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 I um, yeah, I woke up. I'm glad I shot the little prequel to this because uh, woke up with some my my first my first thoughts upon waking up were, oh man, I am tired, I am tired and sexually frustrated and annoyed with a significant other, and I don't want to do nothing. I just want to roll over and go back to bed. Those are those are my initial thoughts. And then I remembered, you know, hey, today's the, the the first day of being being sound guy or in the audio video consultant for the. Uh, God, I feel like I should print up new business cards and say that on them. And that's that's got a nice ring to it. Audio video consultant. What's that guy worth? He sounds like he's worth quite a bit. Um, yeah my first, you know, day in that official capacity, so I uh, want to show up and look like I, like I own that, so, <coughs> um, yeah, um, so today's not a day, it wasn't, it wasn't a day to just roll over and go back to sleep, it's likely that I'll need to spend more than an hour here to accomplish what I need to accomplish, so I need to not make a nuisance of myself, and I know I kind of have a tendency do that sometimes, so I need to not, I need to not do that, but I do need to probably show up on time at the time I said I would show up, which was 10 o'clock, and uh, just probably bring that same scrap of paper and a pen in with me so I'm ready to take some notes. I'm usually pretty good at remembering stuff like that, but notes certainly help. Um, Um, yeah, so made a little extra effort to look presentable. Um, I didn't have exactly clean clothes, but I found clean-ish clothes. Um, honestly, if I'd, have put, if I'd have put the stuff on I was wearing yesterday, it would have been a little cleaner than what I just put on. But, um, I, I really don't want either Adam or Kevin to... to have and to think, hey, is, is that the same exact clothes Dan was wearing yesterday? Is that guy homeless? <laughs> What's, why is he wearing the exact same clothes? What's wrong with him? Um, so, um, anyway. And on that note, like things that I should try to get done today uh, after I leave there. Uh, one of them, I think, is, is doing laundry, doing my laundry. Um, um, it's clear that I can't rely on Priscilla to do that. It's not her job to do that anyway. So, um, I do contend it's her job to uh, keep me satisfied in the bedroom in the fun department. If she doesn't want me to go and take care of that elsewhere, that's that's my position. I'm standing firm by it. Um, um, but but yeah, not her job to do my laundry. It's not. And likewise, it's not my job to provide her with a big television to watch. <laughs> Yeah, so she she's you know told me in not so many words that she feels like I'm I'm just using her for convenient sex, and uh, and I, I, I suppose to a certain degree I am, um, but I don't 
don't, I don't, isn't, isn't that, isn't that part of what a uh, heterosexual relationship is? I mean, isn't it, isn't it supposed to be? Isn't that part of it? Um, I'm not being too presumptuous with that. I hope that doesn't make me a horrible, terrible guy. Um, anyway, at this point, I feel like she's taking advantage of me and living in my place. I mean, granted, I, I can't say she hasn't been, you know, paying her share of the bills because, well, she hadn't for a long time. She she has been since my funds have been tight. So I, I can't say she's not doing that. And God knows in the past I've had freeloader roommates that have done that. So I can't say I can't say she's not doing that. She is. She is definitely paying her share. Um, but she's certainly you know feels like I'm I'm taking advantage of you know, her body at a convenience. I, I feel she's taking advantage of my television at a convenience. Like she's always, always watching my television. To the point, I, I feel like I don't have adequate access to my own television. So, um, I um, I was going to unplug the power cable. I don't think she know, would know really how to plug that back in. But I reached around to that side of the TV, and I've never undone that, and now I know why. Well, I mean, I've never had cause to undo that. Like, I set the TV up in the spot where it is, and it's never been moved. Um, but, I... Uh, I moved the panel to access where, where the power cord gets in, and as far as I can tell, it's not a removable power cable. At least not in one you just unplugged from the TV. So, yeah, plan, plan A was uh, kind of foiled. Oh, hey, look, I'm following a VIP taxi. I wonder if that's a driver I know. Oh, get past him and find out. Somebody pass it on the right. Um, let's see, it's cab 680. No, 880. 680. I really should do something about my vision. familiar, but I'm not 100% sure who that was. He did look super familiar, though. Anyway, I think my days at VIP are done. <laughs> I hate to say it, I'm very disappointed. I'm asked, I got my, uh, say my driver ID. I keep hanging, keep hanging for my windshield mirror, uh, for my rear view mirror, because that seemed like the best place to put it. That short time period where once again I was a uh, full-time cab driver. It's the only place to put it when it wasn't around my neck, but, um, yeah. I'm on to bigger and better things. I want to believe I'm on to bigger and better.